Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, topo sheet grid reference. Actually, uh, maps are incredible tools for navigation, but to describe a location accurately, we need something more precise. That is grid reference. Today I am going to show you how to use a four-figure grid reference to find locations on a map. It's quick, easy, and super useful for navigation. Grid reference origin is the southwest corner of the map. The reading on the map is always taken with reference to this origin. The grid can be read as follows in two different ways. One is four-figure grid reference and another one is six-figure grid reference. First, let's understand the grid. Maps are divided into squares by vertical lines. They called eastings. And horizontal lines, they called northings. Vertical lines numbers are increasing as we move towards east and horizontal lines numbers are increasing as we move towards north. Each line is numbered to help us to pinpoint locations. Each square on the map is defined by intersection of vertical lines and uh, horizontal lines. To find a four-figure grid reference, uh, we identify the square where the convectional symbols and signs are located. Look at the number of the horizontal line 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 at the bottom of the square. This is called northings. Look at the number of the vertical line 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 on the left side of the square. This is called eastings. Together they form the grid reference. While giving a grid reference, eastings are always stated first, followed by the northings. Remember, while giving a grid reference, eastings are always stated first, followed by the northings. Let's try an example. Suppose we want to find the grid reference for this spot height 300. First, find the vertical line to the left of the symbol or square. Here it is 23. Next, find the horizontal line below the square or symbol that is 33. So the four figure grid reference is 2333. Suppose if you want to find the grid reference for this triangulated height 480, first find the vertical line to the left of the symbol that is 13 and a horizontal line below this symbol that is 0, 4. So the four figure grid reference for the symbol triangulated height 480 is 13, 0, 4. Suppose if you want to find the grid reference for this survey tree 184. First find the vertical line to the left of the square or symbol here it is 93 eastings 93. Next find the horizontal line below the symbol that is 82 northings 82. So the four figure grid reference for the survey tree 184 is 93 82.
Suppose if you want to identify four figure guild reference for the settlement or Moti Bhattamal, you can write the four figure of either this grade or this. You can write 70, uh, you can write 91, 76 or 91, 75. You can write four figure of either this or this grade. If you want to identify four figure for this settlement, Dantrai, in this case, actually the settlement covers four grades, four squares. In this case, you can write four figure of this grade or this or this or either this grade. For example, you can write four figure of four figure for this Dantrai settlement is uh, 0 to 24 or 0 to 23 or 0 3 24 or 0 3 23 so any one you can write it is correct there is a symbol triangle 364 just find the four figure grid reference for the symbol if you find the answer just give the answer in comment box thank you and uh, that's it so now you know how to use four figure grid reference to locate features on a map if you found this helpful be sure to like this video and subscribe for more navigation tips thanks for watching and happy exploring don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you